What up, family? Waka Flocka. Now, we know the history of Waka Flocka with Brick Squad, Gucci Man, them, 1017. You feel me? And we know that Flocka came into the game like a lot of, of the YGs that's coming into the hip-hop game today. Like, he was, you know, wild. And he was known for being in the club, you know, shaking the dreads, like stomping people out, representing the blood game, just moving, you know what I'm saying? Like any other average hip hop artist that's just getting in the game and coming from the hood. Now, it's only a select few fam that's in the game right now that's not trying to confirm to what's going on right now you feel me not trying to be the cool um og in the game and getting it to him raw fam and walker flocker is one of them ones that's keeping it real keeping the g on all this interviews fam and i got to get it to him he pretty much talking about the most high and how he's still rich you know how he don't move around in the hip-hop industry and just pretty much getting game up on just being yourself and still succeeding, fam, because it's a power greater than you, right? Now, a lot of people would think that's lame talk, you feel me, coming from a gangster. But once you done been out here many moons, and you done seen a lot of deaths, you done did shootings, done been through different things, you start to see life different, and you start to appreciate your blessings. Now, Waka Flocka was just on an interview with DJ Academics. And they was talking about the artists that's in the game right now with everything going on, artists getting killed, going to jail, getting shot. And he's saying, Waka Flocka said that the artist is bringing danger into a lifestyle that they was blessed with. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and what he mean by that is, they in the rap game. They was blessed to get in the rap game. Once you get in the rap game, you should shut all that down, fam. And I teach on that all the time. You got to be about your business. The day you sign that deal, went independent, however you do it. Once it got real, you got to get real. And a lot of artists tried to bring the hood to the industry. You know, where they from. And it ended up backfiring on them. Because they get killed in the same city that they from, it be the people that they know. You feel what I'm saying? So they bring in danger and, and, into a game that they should have nothing but peace with, fam. Because you don't got to sell drugs no more. You ain't got to go out there and rob no more. None of that. And when you don't count them blessings, this what happened, fam. And that what Walker Flocka saying. And if you look at it, you got artists like Walker. You got artists like Kevin Gates. You got artists like Boost. I can go on and on with the list with artists that's keeping it real, fam, and letting the YGs know what's really going on in the game. Because just look at it. You got artists like YNW Melly fighting for his life. You got artists like um artists like y, YFN Lucha. You feel what I'm saying? That's bringing the hood to the hip hop industry and you can't mix the two. It's just like mixing game banging with selling dope. You're gonna have to choose one because you're gonna fail. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what Walker's saying in this game right here. And, and it's painful to see fam that these dudes love the hood. They fighting to get out the hood just to go back and get killed. You feel me? Or go back and go to jail because you got a point to prove to some dudes. You, if you don't got a deal, fam, you got millions of dollars. It ain't. It, what else do you got to prove, fam? That's gangsta as it get. That's gangster itself, fam, because it's hard to do that to get a million dollars. You feel me? But they still be feeling like they got something to prove, fam. 